What is up, guys? Dennis here, Sports Snippets, Dennis Sullivan, on Sunday evening, the 20th of August. How the heck are you doing? Want to take a few minutes here and discuss the one beautiful thought that's been going through my mind all weekend. And that is that, yes, football is almost here. We're about at the finish line of waiting this out. The countdown certainly is on. But before I do get started, if you do like the content of this particular video, you know what to do, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Feel free to also subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome as well. So let me talk, just spend a few minutes discussing a few things and what to expect moving forward and all that stuff. I mean, I'm sure many of you who are watching this are keeping very close tabs on start of the season and all that other good stuff. But let me begin by first defining my definition of football starting. So my, my definition of football starting is not preseason NFL at all. Of course not. It is actually, again, this is, you may agree, you may disagree, but my definition of football officially starting is when the college games start to play, which in our case, in everyone's case, will be on this coming Saturday, the 26th of August. Okay, I mean, I'm a huge NFL fan, but I just cannot consider NFL preseason as football starting. No, 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 no. So being that uh, college season is always about a week, 10 days or so ahead of the NFL. It's always like that. We can look forward to this coming Saturday, the 26th. And as a matter of fact, although it's not a full slate, it's not. The, the, the first official, official full, full slate Saturday for college football is the 2nd of September. But let me backtrack here for just a second, because on Saturday, the 26th, two ranked teams will be playing. Uh, you have all times Eastern, a 2.30 p.m. game and an 8 p.m. game that did catch my attention. You have Navy at number 13, Notre Dame at 2.30 Eastern. That's on the 26th. And then at 8 p.m. prime time, Eastern Standard Time, you're going to have San Jose State at number 6, USC. So you do have two ranked teams that will be playing just days away on the 26th of August. So that's something, I mean, certainly something to look forward to. Uh, then the th then they kick into, with college, you know, then it'll kick into the Thursday games because they have their own Thursday schedule and it's always Thursday, Saturday. One game that jumps out at me on Thursday night, the 31st, will be the Florida Gators traveling to Utah to take on number 14, Utah University. Uh, that is an 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time game. Again, that's the Florida Gators traveling to play Utah on the road at 8 p.m. the 31st of August. Then NFL, right? So the first full week, uh, Sunday is the 10th of September, right? And then the first game, though, will be that Thursday that precedes it. So Thursday the 7th of September kicks off the NFL season with the Detroit Lions traveling to Kansas City to take on the defending Super Bowl champion Chiefs. That should be very interesting. Again, Detroit Lions at Kansas City Thursday 7th of September. And that, that's pretty interesting because Detroit came on strong as you may recall. So uh, that was last year when Detroit had a very, very respectable and very good second half of the season. So guys, let me know what you think. Football is about here. It's almost here. And it's like, I go through this every season and I go through that even though I'm a baseball kind of fan, I watch baseball, I get into it. It's just not the same. I, it's almost like I get into baseball more in a way when football starts. I don't know. Maybe it's like some some sort of uh, 
some sort of I need that buzz of football, you know, I need the excitement as a sports fan. But let me know what you think. Uh, again, football just days away. Looking forward to it. I will catch up with you soon, and bye for now.